as we gather to join your feast, we give you thanks that you call us friends. Feel our minds, stir our hearts, move our being, nourish our spirit, make us one body with the bread and cup of life. Make us one body with the bread and cup of life. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to the Binder Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Lawrence, Deacon and Martyr. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary of her virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to the people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King. O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Father, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take, take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, He scatters abroad, he gives to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. 
the upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor, his generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Please stand. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Tayo po'y nabubuhay sa pamagitan ng pagsasakripisyo ng iba. Kami po'y nagbibigay ng First Communion ito mga nakarang linggo at patuloy po namin ginagawa para sa mga bata. Tinanong ko po yung mga bata na magpe-first communion kung anong kalang uh, favorite food, anong ulam ang paborito nila. Ba sila po yung buong sigla nagtaasa ng kamay. Marami po ang sumagot na fried chicken. Iba naman ang sabi lichon. At sila'y masiglang masigla kapag ka naiisip nila yung kanilang paboritong pagkain. At ang sabi ko sa kanila, alam ba ninyo kung paano kayo nag-enjoy ng fried chicken o ng lechon? Anong ginawa sa manok para inyong makain? Kailangan yung manok ay gilitan ng leeg, kailangan patayin, kailangan lutuin, pagkatapos ay iyahain sa inyo, may enjoy ninyo. Ano ba? Paano bang ginawa doon sa baboy para maging fried chicken? Kailangan munang patayin kakatayin, lilitsunin, pagka, pagkatapos ay iyahain sa inyo. At enjoy na enjoy naman tayo sa mga pagkain ito. Minsan ang sabi ni Bishop Fulton Sheen, We live by what we slaughter. Tayo nabubuhay sa pumagitan ng ating kinakatay. Yung mga vegetarian naman, nabubuhay din kayo sa pumagitan ng mga halaman na ating pinapatay. Paano mo i-enjoy ang isang gulay, kailangang bunutin muna sa pagkakatanim. Alisan ng ugat, lulutuin, saka natin papakinabangan, saka natin kakainin, tayo nagiging malusog at tayo nagkakaroon ng buhay. Sa natural order, makikita natin na ganun ang pangyayari. Yung lesser order, Pinapatay para sa ganoon yung higher order ay makinabang at magkaroon ng buhay. Sa supernatural order, sa so order mas mataas, halimbawa sa tao, 
ganun din ang ginawa ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Para tayo magkaroon ng buhay, inialay niyang kanyang sarili, siya'y namatay at sa kanyang kamatayan, tayong nagkaroon naman ng buhay na walang hanggan. Kung titignan po natin sa ating mga mahal sa buhay, sila rin po'y nagsasakripisyo upang tayo mabuhay. Naiisip ko po yung mga OFWs, kailangan umalis ng bansa, humiwalay sa pamilya, iwanan ng kalang mga mahal sa buhay, magpapakasakit sa ibang bansa, magdadanak ng pawis, nanduro ng paghihirap at pagsasakripisyo upang sa ganoon, yung kalang mahal sa buhay na naiwanan sa Pilipinas ay magkaroon ng maginhawang buhay sa pambagitan ng kalang sakripisyo, ang kalang mga mahal sa buhay ay nagkakaroon ng iba yung sigla. Sa ating ibanghelo, ganun din po ang binabanggit. Maliban na lamang ng buto ay mabaon sa lupa at mamatay, hindi ito darami. Walang pakinabang ang buto kung hindi itatanin. Sa ating mga kristyano, Ganun din po ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. Kung tayo susunod sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, may mga pagkakataon na kailangang isakripisyo natin ang ating personal ambitions. Maaaring meron tayong mga personal na layunin. Subalit, kapag ka tayo sumusunod sa ating Panginoon, di lamang siguro mga pari at mga madre na sumunod sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, may mga pagkakataon na kailangan mong ibaon yung personal na ambition mo para sa kabutihan ng nakararami. Upang sa ganoon, ang paghahari ng Panginoong Diyos dito sa mundo ay kumalat at lumaganap. Ganito po ang ating masasaksihan sa buhay ni St. Lawrence, isang diakono at martir sa Roma. Noong kanyang panahon, siya po ay nangasiwa ng kayamanan ng simbahan sa Roma at uh, yung hari na galit yung emperador sila'y pinag-uusig at minsan sinabihan si Lawrence na bigay mo sa akin lahat ng kayamanan ng simbahan sabi naman ni Lawrence bigyan mo, bigyan mo ko ng ilang araw at titipunin ko lahat ng kayamanan ng simbahan Pagkatapos ng ilang araw, dumating na yung mga opisyales at tinanong nasa ang kayamanan ng simbahan. At kanyang ipinakita lahat ng mga may hirap tang sabi niya, eto ang kayamanan ng simbahan. Nagalit sa kanya ng gusto, yung emperador ng panahon na yon, at siya ay ipinapatay sa pamagitan po ng pag-ihaw sa kanya. Isang giant na parilya, doon siya iniihaw, siya inililitsyon. Itong si Lawrence sa kanyang uh, paghihirap, eh, nagawa pa niyang wari magbiro ayon sa tradisyon ng simbahan. Ang sabi niya doon sa mga tao nagihihaw sa kanya, Abay, baligtarin ninyo ako sapagkat itong one side ko'y lutong-luto na. Yung other side ko hindi pa luto, ikutin niyo ako. At ganun siya. Siya'y naglingkod, nag-alay ng buhay, naging martir, halang-alang sa pananampalataya, halang-alang sa pagmahal niya sa Panginoong Diyos. At sa kanyang paglingkod, nanduroon ang saya. Isang taong nagsasakripisyo na may kahalong kapakumbabaan at may kahalong kaligayahan. Marami sa atin marahil ang nagsasakripisyo sa buhay, pero kung tayo magsasakripisyo, Nanduroon po ba ang tuwa? Nanduroon po ba ang galak? Kung tayo nahihirapan, ating alalahanin lagi si St. Lawrence na bagamat siya ay pinahirapan, nagawa pa niyang magbiro. Nagawa pa niyang buong sigla na ialay ang kanyang buhay sa ating Panginoon. Tama ang ating Panginoong Isokristo. Ang kadakilaan ng tao ay ating masusukat sa kanyang pagsasakripisyo sa kanyang paglilingkod sa kapwa at sa Panginoong Diyos. Padalangin po natin na nawa katulad ng ating Panginoong Kristo ang hanapin natin lagi sa buhay nito. 
ay yung paglilingkod sa ating kapwa. Yung paglilingkod sa kanya upang sa ganoon katulad ni St. Lawrence na hindi makalimutan ng simbahan sa kanyang mabuting halimbawa ng paglilingkod. Alahan hindi po natin ang mga may hirap tinuturing na kayamanan ng simbahan. Meron po tayong option for the poor. Sila po ang ating tinuturing na ating kayamanan. At ang ating butihing ubispo, laging sinasabi dito sa Archdiocese sa Pulinggay ng Dagupan na yung uh, mga may hirap ang ating mga boss, yung may hirap ang ating paglilingkuran pang sa ganoon, ating maluwalhati palagi sa ating buhay ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Please all stand. As we celebrate the feast day of a great saint of the Church of Rome, mother of all churches, let us beseech our loving Father to grant the request we make together in prayer. Let our response be, Let us be steadfast in your service, O Lord. Let us be steadfast in your service, O Lord. That the deacons of the Church may be zealous in their ministry of preaching the Gospel by word and example. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be steadfast in your service, O Lord. That there may be enough Catholic volunteers to work for poor communities or nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be steadfast in your service, O Lord. That we may value and protect our poor as real treasures of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be steadfast in your service, O Lord. That we may have fortitude in times of physical pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be steadfast in your service, O Lord. That our departed loved ones may enter into the promise of the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be steadfast in your service, O Lord. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Almighty God, through the intercession of St. Lawrence, your martyr, receive the intentions we bring in the name of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their various sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And their struggle, the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out. And without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of prey by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his assistant Bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph her husband, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shows forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words of Lord Jesus Christ taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to send to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. O 
Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the Feast of St. Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa inyong pong pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. Our helps in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, oh, oh.